you're what's going on everybody it's your boy ipod king carter here welcome to the official face scanning tutorial there are going to be a couple things that you will need in order to get this face scan process done and over with and to your liking you're going to need two lamps with swivel tops that means you can place them in any direction also you're going to need a sheet behind you uh preferably a sheet that is your skin tone so if you're caucasian or african-american try to find a bed sheet that really really fits your skin tone that means if you're dark skin find a dark uh brown sheet if you're light skin try to find a, a lighter uh caramel type of sheet and so on and so forth um as well as you're going to need a big screen tv preferably a 42 inch plus maybe and uh, you're going to need a ps4 camera or an xbox connect camera uh, webcams will not work with this process now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys the total fail and then i'm going to show you guys the absolute greatness scan but uh first i'm going to let the total fail run and then i'll talk to you guys about what went wrong to ensure the best scan, position yourself in as much light as possible. Natural light is best, but in general, the more light, the better. And also be sure to remove glasses, hats, or other accessories, and pull back any hair that might cover your face. When your scan begins, you'll need to turn your head to the left and right as slowly as possible. It's important to stay focused on the PlayStation camera, keeping it at eye level until the scan is complete. We recommend holding the PlayStation camera in front of your face about 6 to 12 inches away. The whole process should only take a couple of minutes. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin, and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. Slowly. Almost there. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. Slowly. Okay, we've got it. We are now building your custom head. All right, guys, I am back now. Right now, the face scan is just going through all the reference points collected. And just to let you guys know, this reference point got over 5,000 points collected. That means this face scan was supposed to go perfect, right? But if you guys seen throughout the entire face scan, the camera kept losing my face, which meant I had to replace the camera, try to line it up with my eye level, make sure that my head was up the right way. And I could tell you guys right now that the placement of my head was not right. And you guys will see the actual face scan that comes out and you guys will know what went wrong. So basically, when you're scanning your face, you want to have your chin up. You want the camera to be able to see your neck so instead of having your entire head inside of the the green box try to put a little bit of your neck in there as well so try to really put your chin up because if you don't put your chin up what's going to happen is your lips are going to be where your chin is supposed to be and your eyes are going to be where the bridge of your nose is supposed to be so remember please keep your chin up all right now, this scan quality says it's above average, and look how it came out, guys. It came out terrible. So please remember, you guys can see that, you know, where my lips and chin is right now, you can tell that I really had my head down the entire time. So you really want to put the PS4 camera or the Kinect camera with Zoom or whatever at eye level. Please remember, you are looking at the camera to the left of the sensor and you want to look directly into it not below it not looking up into it you want it to be at your eye level so if it cuts off a little bit of your chin 
Don't be scared. Also, make sure you hold it 6 to 12 inches away from your face. No closer and no further away. And as well as whatever TV that you stand in front of, make sure it's bright enough to give you some natural light if it's nighttime. If it's daylight outside, open up all the blinds, all the drapes, and everything like that. Now, what I'm about to show you guys is the actual face scan that went the right way. Now, you guys see with this my player, I actually went to a head preset that actually had somewhat of my skin tone already mixed in it so that I was able to, as soon as the scan is over, I know what preset it is. It kind of looks like me and that, you know, I don't know what skin tone looks good. So right now I have the green screen up. Now, like I said, the green screen is not the the best background to go with with the skin tone of being an african-american the, the, the green screen alone is literally not even usable so if you're scanning your face and you have a green screen take the green uh screen down and go into your cupboard of your laundry or whatever and if you have a sheet that's your skin tone make sure you grab that if you don't go ahead go to bed bath and beyond go to sears or whatever and get something that matches your skin tone because i'm telling you right now it works works um i've scanned myself probably about 45 times already you know um i've been going through it you know and it's been driving me up a wall now if you listen to the directions right when you're looking at the camera you want to make sure the camera goes to at least five percent while it's looking straight at you and when you're turning your face to the left you only want to turn it to a 30 degree angle no more you don't have to go to 45 degrees you don't have to go to 50 degrees you want to go to a 30 degree angle so it catches like your cheekbone a little bit and then when you're coming back the other way you want to go very very slow so it's picking up more and more points of your face while you're about to turn to the right and the same thing for the right guys when you're looking to the right only let the camera hit your cheekbone don't let the like your cheek and your jawbone don't let it go to your ear or anything like that because it's going to lose your face and you're going to be messing up because you're going to be like oh man it lost my face now i got to figure out how to get my face back to the point where it was and the, the skin will be completely over so for all my people out there the skin in their face and as soon as the camera says it lost you start over don't even try to fix your face don't try to you know fix the camera lens height and and all of that just start over you want to make sure that you're holding the camera as tight as possible and you want to make sure that you're turning your head while keeping your chin up do for for whatever reason guys do not put your chin to your chest by whatever means and i know it kind of it's going to feel weird to have your chin like up a little bit you know <laughs> but trust me it, it does not work with keeping your chin at the level it's supposed to be because everybody when you're looking straight ahead you might not notice but you actually have your chin up because your posture is straight up so a lot of people that's been sitting down doing the face scans have been doing it wrong because they're not postured up all right. Now, you guys will notice that on one side of my face, it was a little green because of the green screen. Now, remember, this is why I said you need to get a sheet or a background that's your skin tone. So for whatever pieces it misses, it will catch them from the skin. But this is IKC signing out. I hope this helped. Peace, y'all.